Hey guys, Aquatic Bobs. So there's a few coral in this tank that really stand out to me every time I look at it. When I come home from work or when I just walk from the kitchen into the living room, I look in the tank and there's always a few that just jump out at me. So in today's video, I wanna show you guys what those coral are and why they're my favorites. I'm gonna start with number one this guy it's a jelly bean chalice this thing has a little bit of color of almost everything just from this angle you can see red orange green purple kind of a bluish tint around some of the eyes uh, did I say yellow and I I just like it because it's got that real defined stripe right down the middle where it's just a solid split and you know when you got certain corals kind of like this uh, candy apple bower banky or bleeding apple bower banky it's not like that real sharp stripes to it of changing color it's it's got like just solid defined colors to it and that's one thing I really like about chalices um, here's some more chalice over here these guys are pretty cool it's the my Miami chalice this is the Bahama mama chalice and this one is I can't remember from Aquesti but one thing that you see a lot with corals is just blurred colors kind of like that which is really cool in a lot of ways and I really enjoy it uh, but this one the defined color streaks is just really appealing to me so that's my favorite coral in the tank and the good thing about chalice is that they're really easy to keep it's an easy to keep coral that doesn't require a lot of light not a lot of flow um, so most beginners could even keep a nice piece like this and really make it thrive Alright guys, my second favorite coral in the tank is actually a whole group of corals. It's the mushroom coral. This is the Eclectus mushroom. It, To me, it's kind of like a mixture of like the original jawbreaker and just like a color morph of a red, yellow, orange, green mushroom all in one. So you can see the difference between the two right here. The one on the right is kind of like a green, yellow, and red. The one on the left is more like an orange, yellow, green, and red. And just really pretty colors. And I have a whole bunch in my tank. And part of the reason that it's my favorite coral, one of my favorite corals, is because of all the patterns on it. Like, look at each one of these and how different all their color patterns are. Each one is different. Not one of them is the same. And that's something that I really enjoy about these. Here's some more. They're starting to heal up. These are some ones that either had split or I had cut in half, fragged in half. But yeah, these things are really just beautiful look at that that's something that you can't really create or come up with so all right you guys my third favorite coral and this easily could be tied with number one and number two look at some of the color blotches on this thing it's the symphilia wilsoni and this thing is just adorable and I say adorable, like it's a cute little thing, but this is like an advanced coral in color combos that just blows my mind. When I bought it, it was still a couple hundred dollars, and it was about the size of a nickel. But uh, I, I'm really in love with this coral. It's beautiful. Again, it's another easy one to keep. Oh yeah, I didn't say about the mushrooms. Mushrooms are probably one of the easiest corals to keep in the hobby. Um, easiest to frag, reproduce. 
Um, but yeah, this one, it's not one that you can just frag and cut in half. I, I mean, you could try maybe, but I, I don't recommend it at all. Um, but the colors on this thing are just wild. And the cool thing is during the day when, when the lights turn more white, it, uh, it shows a little bit different tones to the color. And then when it gets blue, they just radiate fluorescent. Like it just pops, just sticks out to you. Very cool. Um, not much else to say about this guy. Uh, like I said, very easy to keep, very colorful, very beautiful, and cannot frag them. All right, so my last couple favorites, I'm going to group into one category here. Uh, another is a mushroom here. This guy I've had for a while. It's an ultra orange Yuma mixed with a rainbow, rainbow Yuma. And you can see the, the blotches on it, the patches. I've seen a few other mushrooms in, in my years of reefing that are similar to this in some ways. But I've not really seen anything that's quite as vivid as this. And I wish that the camera could do it more justice, but it just, you know, if I can zoom in a little bit more, it just doesn't do it. Like, the colors in real life are a bright blue, uh, almost, like a, almost like a bluish green. But this is really a beautiful piece. And let's move on. So these do not look like much on the camera. This is the Top Shelf Aquatics Bubble Yum Acropora. Another really expensive high-end piece. This is the Circus Freak Acropora. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try to get some top-down shots of these. Alright you guys, so here's a little bit better shot of the Circus Freak Acropora. I mean, some of the colors on this are just going to be absolutely wild. Unfortunately, it's all on the back side, so from the front side of the tank you can't see much. But it's spreading. It's getting there. Let's move over to the Bubble Yum. Oh, that's the Carolina Reaper right there. That thing is going to be absolutely beautiful. And then here's the Bubble Yum. I'm trying. I'm really trying hard. I haven't got part of my phone in the water right here, but it's looking really good. And then this is the Top Shelf Aquatics Haymaker Acropora. Super pretty. It's definitely getting to show its highlights now. Uh, we're working on it. We'll get there. Last but not least, this is the Aquasty Rainbow Millie. Alright guys, so there you have it. Those are my favorite corals in the tank. But honestly, to tell you the truth, I... Every single one of these coral in here, I absolutely love. And even some of the ones that are less desirable. So, for example, here's one that I fragged yesterday. This thing just, it doesn't look too hot. It actually came from the Carolina Reaper right behind it here. Acropora, which has a ton of potential. You can sell a half inch frag of this for at least 50 bucks. So, I mean, it just goes to show that sometimes some coral, just because they don't look the greatest, like at a certain moment in time, at a certain period of time, doesn't mean they don't have potential to be beautiful. I guess that could be a good life lesson too, right? So just because some of us struggle at some point of life and feel like we don't have much to offer it doesn't mean we don't have the potential to be something amazing and beautiful so I love I love encouraging you guys and to be honest part of why I encourage you guys is what I say encourages me I'm a person who needs encouragement I'm a person who needs to be shown love and kindness as well and I'm I take things very personal 
that's why I really greatly appreciate all of your support, your subscriptions, your likes, even your thumbs downs and your comments on ways that I can improve. So just know that I, every single one of you has something to offer. Even if you think you're the biggest jerk out there, or if you think you're the smartest person on earth, and everybody needs something from you, it doesn't matter. Every single one of us has something to offer that is beneficial to each other. So don't forget that, and, and don't exclude someone because you don't think that they have as much to offer. But anyways, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Aquatic Bob's out.